this is the gardening family welcoming y'all back to my gardening channel welcome back gardening fantastics my garden family and i hope that you'll enjoy this gardening episode and hopefully it'll inspire you to want to garden too thanks for your time and support gardening spirit boosters how you guys doing how you guys doing welcome back to the channel thanks for watching don't forget to hit the like button if you don't have if you can't watch the whole video just please hit the like button for support i appreciate all your support i love my subscribers all around the world love you guys fantastic channels showing all your beautiful plants and flowers and scrubs and tips gardening information gardening advice i love it all thank you i appreciate all of you guys for sharing so much information on how to take care of so many different plants and also information on how to grow them and the materials how to make planners oh you guys are fabulous loving it i love it i love it i love it thank you guys so much for everything well what are you looking at today you are looking at this plant that i share shared in a previous video it was one leaf a uh, snake plant one leaf and if in the, the leaf died as you can see let me show you the leaf died. This is the leaf died right there. It's brown. This is the new life right there, the green thing. It finally grew after, I guess, I don't know, four, five months. It finally uh, did some progress. Patience is the key with some of these plants. Patience. Now I'm going to share with you guys one of my newer plants hold up oh this thing's heavy oh my goodness okay this right here is one of my newer plants it's an elephant plant but it was a different different color i'm about to drop it I don't know if how good y'all can see, but this is elephant plant. Different uh, model, different uh, colored leaves. And uh, I had repotted it. It came in a smaller pot. It's getting bigger. I put it in this bigger pot. It's growing. It likes its new home. It lives outside on the balcony. But it is an elephant leaf plant. I should have it in the kitchen, giving it a garden spa day, but <laughs> later for that, I just wanted to share and come here and let you guys see what the heck I update on, you know, some of my new plants that I didn't share in some plants, letting you see what's going on with them. Now, uh-oh, too close, too close. Let me share with y'all this plant here. I don't know. I still don't know what this is. But uh it's still alive. Maybe it's uh I don't know, maybe it's a struggling I don't think it's a flower plant. I think it's a struggling uh uh dang I dirt everywhere. It's a struggling herb some type of herb i believe or it could be i don't know it might even be a well maybe it's a struggling herb it looked like thyme but not so much thyme maybe oregano i don't know but hopefully it gets bigger and it uh it'll survive for me i hope it survives i love herb plants and they're very expensive so if this one survives I hope I can care for it enough to um, get it to uh, 
keep growing. These plants require a little bit of knowledge about them <laughs> in order for them to stay alive. Not only do they need water, sunlight, and, and I guess air, they also need their nutrients and vitamins, supplements. And if you don't know, and also the type of soil that it grows in so that their roots don't perish. Plants are, I don't know, some plants are, if you don't know any better, they're unpredictable because of your lack of knowledge. But when you do understand what they, their needs are, when you know their needs and the type of soil they like, the temperature and uh, the light, but mostly, I don't know, they, the, 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 soil, the soil is very important because they uh, get their nutrients and, and uh, stuff and vitamins and stuff from the dirt. That's in the dirt, I believe, besides the sunlight. So you got to know, is it acid loving? Is it calcium loving? Is it phosphate? Whatever these plants, they vitamins they like. If, if you know... That will help a lot to succeed in growing them when you know what kind of nutrition they need. Just like a human person, when you know they lack vitamins, your doctor, or you figure out you need to take this, that, other, and then you see your hair grows, your nail grows, your skin gets pretty, you feel better because you figured out what your body needs. Same thing with the plants. You got to figure out what they need in order to, for them to keep surviving. So hopefully this herb that I am referring to it as, I uh, can figure it out. Or uh, if you guys know, just say so in the comments. We're a family over here, we're a community. And if you know a little bit more about how to figure out how to feed plants or a lofty soil, I don't know y'all. I know I've been doing this for a few, but I'm loving learning by accident, mistakes, error, trial. I love it. Don't y'all forget, come and visit me on my crafting channel. I'm making stuff for the holidays. And I do have a grocery channel. You want to see what I buy, what we eat over here in the States? <laughs> come and check it out. Okay, you guys? And here, I'm just sharing some of my little um, leaf uh propagation is starting to grow roots happy about that i do struggle with doing this i don't know why some people just do it easily and others we got to struggle <laughs> trying to get these leaves to grow roots so you can make new plants because it's so much cheaper and easier uh uh to do it this way instead of just keep buying plants you can just propagate propagate meaning make new plants from leaves uh roots it's called propagation when you create new life from a leaf or a stem or something. Okay, I got to let y'all go because I know I'm over talking. Thank you guys for watching. Welcome all and any new subscribers. Don't forget, hit the like button if you're not going to watch the whole video. Love you for all the support. Thank you. Bye. Thanks for your time and support.